Hi. What I'll be showing you today is a Geiger counter kit designed by Cheney Electronics. It's a model C6981 and um, I'll give you a brief overview. The Geiger counter consists of a Russian SBM20 tube which detects beta and gamma rays. It does not detect alpha rays and the tube needs to be uh, biased with 400 volts DC and that is done with some circuitry involving a 555 timer which sends pulses to an inverter transformer to get the high voltage and a capacitor which uh, sustains the high voltage for the Geiger tube and when the Geiger tube has a particle passing through it the gases inside discharge and basically uh, cause a pulse to be uh, detected by a uh, Darling transistor which uh, feeds a, a blinking uh, LED here. And there's subsequent circuitry to uh, display the count on a uh, LED display. And the kit has two buttons, a mode button and a reset button. The mode button sets it into two different modes. One is a cumulative count and the other one is um, a counts per minute count which you see right now on the display and normal background radiation is about 20 counts per minute sometimes we have high teens or low 20s for background and uh, I have three test samples to show you the first of which is uh, Morton's light salt or actually I should say salt substitute which consists mostly of potassium chloride Now, potassium chloride has, has a little bit of potassium-40 in it and um, so it gives off a radiation count of two or three times uh, higher than normal background. So we should see about 40, maybe 60 counts per minute. And I reset the counter and then we're going to wait uh, 60 seconds to get a the uh, counts per minute from this particular test sample. So um, uh, the kit is also mounted inside a Pelican case. It's a Pelican 20, I'm sorry, 1020 case. It fits very nicely inside. It also is powered from a uh, voltage source uh, which I regulate with a 9 volt regulator. This kit was originally designed to take a 9-volt battery, but I decided to provide um, a 12-volt so source or whatnot. So we see on the display here that we reached 50 counts per minute, about uh, two and a half times normal background radiation from uh, this th simple salt substitute um, that you get in the grocery store. My next test, test sample is from a um, discarded smoke detector which has a radioactive element in it called americium-241. It comes in this little device which I'll put directly on top of the tube. And I'll reset. We should get about 300 counts per minute or more. Now normally the radioactive element is shielded by aluminum cap in the smoke detector. It looks like this. It has vent holes on the side to allow smoke particles to enter and be ionized such that it can be detected. So that's what the aluminum cap looks like. Ah, we get 350 counts per minute.
My next, next test source is a old clock I bought at the flea market. It's a West Clocks uh, clock that has uh, illuminated dials painted with radium. And I've set the hands to 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock positions, which I'll put in parallel with the Geiger tube. And I'll reset the counter. And we expect to see about 800 to 900 counts per minute, which is roughly about oh, 15 counts per second. Now, the uh, radioactive source on this particular sample is from uh, radium. And those are painted on clocks to allow uh, the, at the time to be read at night. As you can see, it's pretty pretty active. And you can also hear the speaker going. There we go, we have 800 some counts per minute. I've actually sometimes achieved just, a, just above 900. So those are my three test sources. And as you can tell, the count slows way down when I remove the sample. And um, so I hope you enjoyed that. And thanks for watching.